Welcome to Lessons for Life, where we seek to learn, love, and live the Word of God. Now, here is James Long, Jr. Hey, everyone. Today, I want to talk to you about who do we confess to? Who or to whom do we confess is probably a better way to say that. Well, the Bible will tell us that all sin... All the things that we do evil in thought, word, attitude, or action must be confessed to God. Every sin that you've committed, even the ones that other people don't know about, what we need to be doing is practicing the habit, confessing those sins vertically to God. You remember the passage in Proverbs 28, 13, it says that he who conceals his sin will not prosper, but he who confesses it and forsakes it finds mercy. So we are called to confess those. You remember in 1 John, we've used this passage before as well. If you confess your sins, God is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. What an amazing promise that is. See, all our sins must be confessed to God. Now, we are also called to confess our sins to other people at times. There are times where you're going to be called to confess to somebody who's stronger, more mature. James talks about that as well, confessing your sins to one another, confessing your sins to your elders. But then there are also times when you are called to confess an offense to someone that you've sinned against. And you're doing that in order to seek their forgiveness. So, I've sinned against you. And I am obligated to come and make it right to seek your forgiveness and to ask you for forgiveness. And so I'm called to confess my sins. I often get asked, well, what kind of sins should I confess to somebody else? And that's a great question. I believe that if it has become a a public sin, and that means in word, attitude, or action, and I've done that to somebody else, I am obligated to go to them and to confess that to them. But if it's private, meaning that it's just been in thought, it has not come out in word, it's not come out in attitude, it's not come out in action, that has to go vertically to God. And perhaps to an accountability person, a mentor, a, some spiritually mature person in our lives. We're not going to confess thoughts that we have about somebody that has not come out in um, into the light or into public view. We're called to confess only those things that have come out into the light to other people. So I hope that helps. To whom do we confess? We confess all sins to God, number one. Some sins will be confessed to other people that we've sinned against, and that has to be external sin in word, attitude, or action. And then we do that. We've sinned against them. We confess that to them, and we are seeking their forgiveness. We will confess sins to our brothers or sisters that are holding us accountable, who are stronger, more spiritually mature in our lives. And when we do that, we keep short accounts in our relationships, especially with God, and we will live a life of of more peace, more hope, more joy, more blessing. So I pray that for you today. Blessings. This has been Lessons for Life with James Long Jr. We hope you've been blessed. For more information, go to jameslongjr.org.